you've ever wondered what the world's largest wave might look like, well, it's thought this could be it. Around 80 foot high, that's the equivalent of about six double-decker buses. It's enough to frighten most people. But British surfer Andrew Cotton kept his cool. He's the one circled here, just a tiny dot in the ocean. The pro surfer and part-time plumber managed to ride this wave in Portugal. Back near his home in Devon, it's a little less tropical, but surfs up. And the daredevil told me all about his adventure. When you are surfing a wave that big, do you look over your shoulder at all? Because it must be so <laughs> fine. Uh, sometimes I do. I didn't actually on that one. I was, uh, I was just fully, <laughs> fully focused and committed. So I was like, um, just trying not to fall off. But uh, yeah, you, sometimes you've got to have a little look around for sure. Yeah. I mean, is it terrifying ever? I know it's not, you know, something you want to admit as a, as a pro surfer, but are you ever scared? Um, yeah, I think you have to be, um, there has to be a level of sort of fear and respect for, you know, for the ocean. Yeah, it's, that's really important. The dad to two says he's still taking in the whole experience. What's it like to ride what could be the world's largest wave? What does that actually well, feel like? That sounds, yeah, it sounds, sounds, doesn't even sound real, does it really? No. Like, um, yeah, that's pretty unbelievable. I almost can't believe, can't believe it. You know, like I, I sort of came out of the session and I was almost a little bit disappointed really because we only, I only caught one wave, Garrett only caught one wave. And, um, and I was thinking, oh, well, okay, there's always, you know, there's always tomorrow, there's always another day. And Andrew admits his day job as a plumber doesn't quite give him the same buzz. Is the adrenaline rush a little different? It is, yeah. It's not, not quite the same fixing toilets and uh, putting in heating systems, no. No. <laughs> no. But still, you've got some good stories when you go back to work. In May, Andrew will find out if he has, in fact, broken the world record for surfing the highest wave ever. Minnie Stevenson, Channel 5 News.